Hello, Washington chiropractors. Last week, we announced the upcoming end of the healthcare mask mandate. The Secretary of Health will be lifting the mandate effective Monday, April 3rd. However, you should note that until 11.59 p.m. on April 2nd, the mandate remains in place. And enforcement, although probably not a high priority, is still possible. Following the announcement, I received a number of inquiries about why the mandate couldn't be lifted immediately. After all, if the Secretary has made that decision, isn't that the end of it? And what scientific basis is there to continue it for the rest of this month? Well, the answers to those questions aren't quite as satisfying as you'd think, but from the perspective of a government official, they make sense. It's important to remember that the mask mandate did not only apply to healthcare facilities. It also applied to long-term care and to correctional facilities. Both of these kinds of facilities are often staffed with unionized labor. Collective bargaining agreements likely require a certain amount of notice and various methods before changing any policy affecting workplace regulations. Moreover, there are likely state and federal regulations pertaining to incarcerated individuals that need to be observed as well. And because larger healthcare facilities may also have those labor issues, it wouldn't be practical to lift the mandate just for small outpatient facilities like yours. Not when the mandate would be lifted entirely just a few weeks later. Instead, the mandate is being lifted for everyone on the same day, and this move was announced a month in advance in order to comply with all the red tape. The good news is, as of April 3rd, the state will no longer require you or your patients to mask in your clinics. As that date approaches, the WSCA will release another graphic you can use to ex quickly explain the changes to your staff and patients, just like we did when the mandate first went into place. Until then, continue to be the model healthcare providers you have been, providing essential care to all who need it and adhering to regulations currently in effect. We have a definite date when the mandate will be over, leaving us with only one more pandemic-related issue to clear up, that issue being the end of PPE reimbursement billing under CPT code 99072. However, that is tied to the end of the federal state of emergency, which is currently anticipated to end in about two months. We'll provide more information on that as the effective date approaches. Until then, you can continue billing 99072 on qualifying plans. Keeping you up to date on all the changes to public health regulations is one way the WSCA is helping chiropractors help patients.